Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video, we have learned what is icon button, how we can use icon button and we also learned types of buttons in previous videos. In this video, we are going to learn the use of button group. So how we can use it that we are going to learn. So I create one more component and I say button group example dot jsx. Now I say R A F C E and we just created this. Now I have to use it. So I remove this and in place of this I use button group like this and I remove this also and I use button group example and here I import button group example like this save this and I go there and here I need to use button group so what is the important of this why we should use it that we are going to learn so first of all I create here typography like this and here I cut this paste it here and I say this is variant of this is h3 and I say button group example here I import typography from MUI material save this now after this suppose I want to use three buttons so what I did I use here three buttons button and I say red button then I use button then I say green button then I say button I say blue button like that and we import this also so I say import button from material UI like that so these three buttons are there so if I try to use this button so you will s we have one error why we have this okay material ui is not found the problem is there we are using this button so for using these buttons and that what we have to use we have to use it like that and typography also we have to use like that like that we have to use it so i save this now done so we have to use this because it's not a global one if we want to use it global then I have to use it here button also like that way then I can use it as a global component or default component like this so now you see that we have button group example and these three buttons I have but they are not looking good so I can do here also like variant equal to I say contained same I just copy paste here also in three buttons save this and you see that we have such kind of button but these buttons are not looking good and if I want to display these button vertically so what I will do I can use here stack also I say I use a stack and under this stack I save this under this stack I can use these buttons and you see these buttons are display vertically also but not looking good and uh, we can adjust this also like we say sx equal to and I say width equal to 200 here I say width equal to 200 pixel and I say height equal to we have like 40 pixel and I save this you see we have like this also we can do like this also vertically more uh, accurately I can say it's a hundred and you see like this we can also do and uh, we can uh, set it to the center so I say item allies item to the center save this you see we have like this and we say alignment to the center is also not working align text or content to the center so the thing is working to make it center we can do one more thing 
we can say margin mx and that margin i say it is auto save this and you see we have at the center so we can do all these things by using css but this button is still is not looking nice or good so we have one more way to do all these things like i just copy paste again all these all three buttons and i create here button group i say we have a button group and i use this here and in this button group i paste all three buttons and from here i need to remove this because no need to put all these type of constant here individually to each and every button just i cut it and i paste in this button group save this now you see and i need to adjust so i say vr tag here because it's coming just behind this you see we have the problem because we are using a stack and it is coming vertically so i say here i say direction to row wise here in stack we have direction that we can set it to row wise now you see here also uh, in button group you see that button group is looking nice as compared to this you see these buttons are not looking good in a stack but this button under this button group looking very good now one more thing we can do we just change it here outline save this and you see that they're looking nice here now we can also uh, change color i say color equal to secondary save this and you see we have such kind of color and we can pass this color to contained like this you see the looking nice and we can give size also so i say size of this button is large you see each and everything we are passing in button group not an individual button you see we have a bigger button also now if i want to display it vertically so i say orientation equal to vertical save this orientation and you see we have vertical also and they are looking nice and looking good and you see that automatically they are coming in center you see all these are coming in center i put only stack into the center but this button group is also coming now we have set all this information so if i want to set some css so i say this one and i say empty from the top i need 40 pixels of margin save this and you see we have this margin also i say 100 pixel of margin save this you see we have such kind of margin also but when i click on the button then individual button we have to set on click event on the individual button like this and i say this is alert and i say click by red button save this and you see i click on this the red button will fire but not on green but if i want to change the individual color yes i can change individual color also for that i say here you see if i say color then i say primary color to this you see i can do color also like this but this is a green so i say success color save this you see we have indivisible success color also if i want to set to blue color for this so i say primary that would be a blue color you see so i can change individual color also and i can assign individual color and i can assign color to all say so like this i say here secondary so i can say error you see error color is red so when i see this so this button is red now and if i insert one more button then by default the color of that button would be of red if i doesn't pass any color here and i say all color save this and you see automatically this would be of red they are looking beautiful also as compared to stack buttons so we use these button group to make your application more beautiful by using react with material ui like this so we may have 
orientation vertical and horizontal we have types of button constant text we can pass here text also constant text and outlined button so you see text button is also looking nice so we have such kind of button here and uh, we have size also we can give large medium small we may set a small icon also save this you see we have a small one also so each and every setting we can put together in button group for all the buttons we can manage it centrally and uh, individually we have to set on click on each and every button and we can also give separate color to all these if we want so each and every facility you see we are available we have available here with button group and button group is working nice as compared to stack buttons so easy to manage easy to use and most important that material ui is always beautiful so we can use this type of buttons and react with material ui so that's all in this video if you like this please do subscribe thank you for watching this video